Hey guys, welcome back to Zachflow. So today we're going to print out a few more of my giant push pins, but we're going to print these out for a reason. We're going to take a look at a new setting you'll see over here in the new Cura 2.1 or 2. Point whatever, the new Cura. Uh, it's going to be called the Draft Shield. It's basically going to help print ABS parts with a little bit less splitting. It's not going to be a good replacement for a printer with an enclosure, but it'll help. Parts this size are pretty much the limit of what this can help you with. Anyway, let's take a look. Alright, so if we take a closer look at these, this here's the one without the draft shield. See there's a massive split here. I'm not sure how well this is going to come across on camera. At this point, I just hope it shows up. So there's a massive crack here, a massive one here, and a pretty decent sized one there. And it just, it just feels pretty weak. I'm going to split that if I pull on it too hard. And then... This is the draft shield. It prints just literally a shield around it as it prints. So this is the one that was printed inside that. You see there was a bit of under extrusion somewhere in here. Those aren't actually splits. They may have turned into splits a little bit because of the under extrusion. But the only real split is one here. Yeah, I guess it feels a little weak. But it's much stronger than the other one. Alright guys, so that's been a quick look at the new draft shield feature in the new Cura. It's pretty useful for small models. Again, this is pretty much the limit for... Whoops, wrong one. This is pretty much the limit for like the size of model this is going to actually help with. The more... The larger the model, the more heat's going to be dissipated. Also, the further away from the model the shell is, the more heat will be dissipated. So, whereas mine prints upside down, and it has to end up covering the top piece at the end, down here doesn't get as well of a shield, and so you can get more of a draft in this area. If you had, if you were, say, printing a perfect cylinder, and then put the draft shield on two millimeters on the outside of the cylinder, it would help a lot. But the void space in this makes this not the best model for the draft shield. So I hope this helps you guys at some point. It definitely has helped me a lot with my ABS prints. And I think that's pretty much it. Uh, you know the usual YouTube stuff guys, hit the thumbs up, hit the thumbs down. Uh, leave me a comment, subscribe, it helps out a lot. And if you guys feel like helping out the channel monetarily at all, there's the Patreon, of course. The link will be up in the corner. And all the funds on Patreon go towards stuff for the channel, such as filaments. And, as I've mentioned recently, the music on the channel lately has been brought to me by you guys. It's Andrew Applepie. I uh, supported him on Patreon with Patreon funds that you guys have supported me with. And... I think it's brought up the quality of the videos a lot. It 
has honestly helped me want to edit to the music more. I know you haven't seen much of that yet. I've been kind of doing that in the background. I haven't released any of those fun videos that I've been working on yet. So anyway, have a good one, guys.